With this attitude exchanger, we can drain the personality destabilizing energy away from an Autobot. At the same time, we recharge him with purifying ions. Let's see how he likes my new shock blast cannon. That's a shock, all right. Thundercracker! You putrid traitor! So much for the Autobot intruder. And as for you, traitor, from now on you will do exactly what this geeky Decepticon tells you, or I'll report your treachery to Megatron and I'll have you melted into welding we moved to 111th Street in Amsterdam Avenue in Manhattan. Anybody been to New York? <laughs> didn't go to 111th Street, though, did you? <laughs> Not on the tour. <laughs> 111th in Amsterdam, or as the people who lived there called it, 111th Street! <laughs> and Amsterdam Avenue! Yeah, baby, that's where you are. Now, how you gonna get your honky white butt home? <laughs> now, a lot of people say to me, hey, Chris, that's a racist stereotype. And it would be. But those were the Irish kids. <laughs> Protect Cybertron from all hostile threats. <laughs> Brutagus outnumber, but Brutagus will win. Connect my head to the planet Cybertron. I will then have a new body. I will be complete again. To devour all worlds in my path. The Earth programs, reinforced by our subliminals, are teaching the junkions an intense distrust of all other life forms. I question your leadership skills, Scourge. The last one in there will face me. You have much to learn. Yes, it is true. Now. I said, what happened? Nothing happened. I told you. I handled it. Oh, you handled it all right. What were you doing? You almost killed me. Hey, it was an accident. Who are you? Nancy Drew. I'm a friend of Karen's. Oh, yes, of course. I remember now. The young detective who works for her father. Look, I was just trying to keep your daughter out of trouble. Which is what you pay me for. I don't pay you to run people off the road. Send me an invoice for your services. You're firing me? That's what it sounds like, doesn't it? I don't want to be... Butt out! Listen, Phillips. I put a lot of work in on this case, trying to keep your crooked little daughter out of jail. Ah, oh, don't worry about your old lady. She's gonna find out sometime. You owe me, Phillips. I'll collect.
Mm. He's just shaken up a little bit. He'll be fine. Oh, oh well, thanks very much, Doctor. <laughs> How much do we owe you? Uh, that'll be twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Oh. Well, since it's the Christmas holiday, make it nineteen ninety-five. Oh, well, that's a much better deal, that is, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, boys, and Merry Christmas to you. And the same to you. And Merry Christmas to you, 